my name is Geraldine Mate. I'm the uh, Curator of Science and Technology at the Queensland Museum. Uh, what I'd like to speak about is the uh, X-ray technology that we hold in our collection. We've got X-ray tubes that uh, go back to the 1900s and extend to something much more modern. Um, one of the earliest X-ray tubes we've got are these small X-ray tubes and these uh, came in around the 1900s. X-rays were actually, X-ray experiments were first done in January 1896 in Europe, but by July in 1896 uh, uh, X-ray experiments were being done in Brisbane as well. This is an example of um, an X-ray tube from 1912 which clearly shows some of the, uh, the physical science behind the X-rays. So basically there's a cathode and an anode in the X-ray tube and the cathode shoots electrons in which are focused on what's called an anti-cathode, which is this metal uh, piece in the middle. And that then emits X-rays which are directed and used to take the medical photos. Some of the uh, additional material we have to support our X-ray tube collection are things like X-ray plates, which is the original way the uh, X-ray images were, were developed, and also things like protective uh, wear like the safety goggles, lead-lined aprons, uh, gloves and so forth. And our collection actually extends to some of the more modern X-rays. This is a rhodium X-ray tube. And these uh, components would be something that we would see um, more recently in X-ray machines. Medical imaging now has gone much further and they're using um, some very high-tech equipment such as the synchrotron in uh, Monash to do medical imaging at a much higher, higher wavelength and also to give them uh, more detailed pictures. One of the things that the having a, a collection like this means is that we can see where um, our scientific principles have come from and how far they've brought us today in terms of modern technology for medicine.